Congratulations, Lockie. What's it like to be a rising star? Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. Um, it's nice to get um, some... I don't know, know, know the word for it. Um, some recognition. Uh, yeah, recognition, that's it. Thank you. Um, nice to get some recognition for a, a, a decent game. and um, So, yeah. Do you feel it was overdue or how do you, how do you feel about that? <laughs> Not overdue, no. It's probably... I've had some... Um, sort of inconsistent form this year, um, which has probably led to that. So, um, like I said, it's, it's nice to come now and I didn't really expect it to come playing forward. But, um, yeah, like I said, it is, it's good. You've got a few teammates who are Rising Star nominees in the past. How do you stand up against them now? Uh, well, obviously Mitch, Mitch got one last year and um, I can't remember who else has had one. Miles Bergman. Um, yeah, obviously they're... Miles is a similar player, but Mitch is a forward, so I think it's pretty easier for the forwards to get that sort of um, recognition, kicking goals and whatnot. But I think defenders go a little bit um, under the radar and not, not as rated as highly as forwards and mids. But you're not a defender anymore? Not anymore, no, I'm a forward now, so I'll take it and um, run. Is that, is that a permanent switch for you, Lockie? I don't know if it's permanent, but um, for the time being and talking with Bass and uh, Kenny, it's something that we're going to look forward, uh, look to do in the future, um, at least this season. Um, yeah, the conversation was that back lines wasn't working, so forwards where I was going to play, and yeah, I think the last few weeks have shown that it's it's been a good change for me and, and the team. So hopefully, I'll stay there for a while. What do you mean when you say it wasn't working? Yeah, so there's some areas that I had to work on, um, just like ground ball kicking, um, aerial contests, and stuff like that. That Went probably quite up to scratch as a defender and um, we had some boys lining back up to come back into the team. Obviously Bonham missed a couple of weeks with an ankle and that's got my chance again after being sub. Um, and then, yeah, once he came back from injury, got pushed back out. Um, and then, yeah, spot opened up forward. So Kenny just said, just go in there and just bring some pressure. And, yeah, I feel like that's what I've done the last few weeks. That was my next question. What's the directive <coughs> just to go in and just cause chaos in there? Yeah, sort of just follow um, Power Pepper's lead a little bit. Um, he sort of said the first week that I, I was going to play forward against Richmond that um, him and I can with similar attributes and obviously learning off Pep um, just to just to hunt the opposition, create a contest um, and just and try and keep the ball in our forward half. And he said if you kick any goals, that's a bonus. Um, he said you don't need to come away with 20 disposals either. So yeah, obviously it was. It's been a good couple of weeks, and last week was probably like that. It's five disposals, and but plenty of pressure and creating goals for the team. Um, so yeah, that's sort of been a good role for me. How's it sit with you? <coughs> yeah, I love it. It's been good. Um, there's a couple of contests last week where Pep and I sandwiched a couple of blokes, so it's been good. <coughs> you sort of thought that you could play midfield. Do you reckon that's going to happen? Uh, I think everyone aspires to play in the midfield. Um, I think if. Yeah, there, there is potential to possibly play there um, in the future, get another pre-season under the belt um, and see what pops up next year. But obviously we've got plenty of depth in the midfield right now, so yeah, we'll see how we go. Here's your right. choice. It's defender, half-back, flanker, as they've always put against you. Midfield, forward, which would you have? Oh, I think having a bit of a taste up forward now, um, I think I'd, I'd go forward over back. Um, it's always nicer running away from someone than trying to chase someone. So yeah, obviously, Played defender for the last few years and it's it's been a nice change. So, yeah, hopefully stick with Ford for a little bit. So you don't put your hand up with Riley out this week and maybe a right to back to go back there? You're happy for? Oh, I don't know how it worked out this week. Um, I think hopefully this goes towards playing another game up forward. Um, but like I said, obviously there's a few boys pushing to come back into the team. So, yeah, we'll see how the week plays out, but hopefully I can keep a spot up forward. How, how much before this, you know, last, the last few weeks trial, how much time have you spent forward in your uh, probably hadn't played a, a full season forward since like under 17s maybe. Um, played an odd game here or there last year, played one against Gold Coast but did a hammy and that pretty much wrote me out for the rest of the season. But um, yeah, probably over the last five years there's probably been a total of two games. Um, Pep's a ruckman now as well, <coughs> you've been following his footsteps in that department? Oh, I don't know how we'll go there yet, he's obviously a bit stronger in the upper body than what I am. Um, but yeah, I think I think we'll leave that to him for now. He's tackled on Tariq Miller late in the game. Is that the sort of the benchmark of the you know the, the pressure 
and not just the forwards want to bring, but all over the ground and stuff. Yeah, that's it. And Pep's renowned for that sort of stuff. And um, obviously being back down there deep in defence as well shows he's able to get up and down the ground. And I think it's something that we've promoted amongst the team the last few weeks is you know, getting back and help defend. And yeah, Pep was one of many that, that laid some um, tackles during the game that probably had saved us a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's, he's sort of leading the way in, in that aspect. I love you. Has the mood changed? What was it like at Zip 5 compared to what it's like now where you're sort of knocking on the door and, and probably putting the wind up a couple of teams that have to face you soon, mate? Yeah, obviously there's been a shift in, in how we've played, but I think the, the group stuck tight the whole time. Um, I don't think we, we had areas that we had to fix, but there was nothing um, that was way out of its out of proportion. So we just had to tidy up on a few things and we week by week focusing on new things um, while going back to um, previous things. And I think that's been, it's been a good build up and obviously zero and five. And, and from that point on, we've been seven and two. So um, a massive change in obviously wins and losses. Um, but I don't think there's been a massive change in our game plan. So we'll keep pursuing that and see how far we can go. Do you feel like the mood's changed at all? Like when you, when you rock up to work and all of a sudden you like say you're seven and two in the last last couple of months, does it feel better? Yeah, obviously it's much more enjoyable rocking up on a Monday or Tuesday after a win. Um, but like I said, we the group stuck tight, so I don't feel like there was um, boys coming in at Zip and Five, you know, going, what's going on here? Um, you know, like I said, we stuck tight and we've we've made it through now. So, yeah, it's good. What's it like virtually playing an elimination final week? <coughs> yeah, obviously it's... Um, you know, it's pretty serious now and I know we put ourselves in this position but we're ready to fight out the rest of the season and, and take it to the rest of the competition. What was the um, key to that tightness, do you think? Tightness? Yeah, well, in, what, you know, you said the togetherness of the group. What sort of drives that? Oh, I think just the connection between the whole group has been solid. Um, over the last few years, obviously, the last two years hasn't, hasn't gone to plan finals. Um, but the group has, you know, come together and the connection piece between all players on and off the field um, has been really strong. So I think that it's a massive contributor to, you know, when we get to footy that we've, we've got our heads on. Mike, you talk about toughness. What do you make of Riley Warren's game? Fracturing an ice socket in the second quarter and then playing it the rest of the match. Well, it's funny you say that because I didn't actually know he did it. Like, and there's probably been quite a few people that didn't even know he did anything. So, um, yeah, to find out a fractured cheekbone and... It's pretty serious. Um, yeah, it's, that's seriously tough. Um, Freo, I'd like to chip it around a bit. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at them yet, but is there an opportunity there to, to the forward group to sort of negate that and, and terrorise them a bit this weekend? Yeah, I guess that's sort of part of um, like my, my reasoning for going forward is you know, having that, that pressure. And yeah, obviously we'll talk about that during the week, um, how Freo like to play, but it'll be something that we'll be tied on and, and try and take that away from them. Um, and then go forward and try and play our game. How's Zach find it's going? Looks like he might make another quick recovery from a knee injury. Yeah, he's been good. Um, by all reports, he'll be training this week um, and be pushing for selection this week, so we'll see how we go.